I'm Phil Haug for Fighting Irish Preview from Palo Alto tonight. The Irish once again dominated this football game from start to finish, just kind of like they did last week, and they defeated Stanford tonight 45-14. to The Irish kicked off tonight, the first time this season that they actually kicked off in a game because Brian Kelly always takes the ball and most teams defer, but the Irish kicked off, had a three and out, then took, a very, took the ball back and went Five plays, 74 yards, and the Irish were suddenly up seven to nothing after a 16-yard touchdown pass to Braden Lindsay. Jack Cohn, another efficient night tonight. 26 of 35, 345 yards as the Irish uh, totaled 510 yards of total offense tonight. Uh, another good night for the offense. The defense uh, uh, had similar good luck in that they shut out Stanford for the first half of the game. So that that scoreless streak that the defense had going of stopping touchdowns, which had been at 12 quarters, extended to 14 quarters, but in the second half, uh, Stanford did break through with a couple of touchdowns. Uh, so the, the, the streak of holding teams to no touchdowns went for 14 quarters, which actually is a historic number. So the defense obviously played very well for the Irish as well, holding, holding Stanford to under 300 yards of total offense. Uh, and, and Brian Kelly stated after the game, he was adamant the Irish are one of the top four teams in the country, but he knows that it's not up to him now. There's, so he emphasized that what he has told his team all week is that you control what you can control. And again, he's waiting to see what the, uh, the uh, committee will say in the next couple of weeks, but he feels that uh, going to 11-1 and that the Irish have a playoff resume and they belong in that Final Four. Uh, we also talked to Michael Mayer post-game. Nine catches, 105 yards. He becomes uh, the most catches or, or and yards, uh, all-time leader uh, for the Fighting Irish in a season, a great season by him. Ask about being snubbed by the Mackey Award Committee uh, beforehand, uh, before the game today. Uh, the John Mackey Award had nominated up to, hi everybody, <laughs> the John Mackey Award had uh, three finalists. John, uh, Michael Mayer was not among that group, and what can you say, he went out tonight, nine catches, 105 yards, and he said again, he echoed his coach, he says, I control what I control, I just come to practice every day and I prepare. <laughs> Hard to believe he's not among the three best tight ends in the country. So what does all of this mean to the Irish? The Irish finish up their playoff resume at 11-1. and We still have plenty of football to be played. We have the uh, conference championship games to go, but the Irish are going to need to little, be a little help, and honestly, they are on the bubble. They are right on the verge of being the in the top four, if not in the top four, but they may end up fifth. It just depends on how those championship games go. Stay on FightingIrishPreview.com in the next few weeks, and we'll have plenty of news and updates about everything. Watch for my observations article tomorrow, uh, and we'll break that down just a little bit more about the Irish's chances to uh, make it to the college football playoffs this year. So for Palo Alto and for Fighting Irish, preview the Irish defeated Stanford tonight going uh, at to, uh, defeated them 45 to 13 and that's a wrap